Hi, today we're going to be unboxing Beyblade Shogun Steel SS24 Thief Zavago WA130HF attack type. You can go online to uh, BeybladeBales.com, it is the Hasbro one. So, yeah. Also, do check out this website right here. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. Hit type, force with force with Wink.worldbayboy.org Excellent website. Definitely want to mention them out. I'll leave this link down below in the video description to go and head over there. So yeah, this is the most amazing Bayboy website that I have ever found. Like I said, definitely check this website out. It has a lot of Bayboy information. Maybe some stuff that you didn't even know about. It's really cool. So okay, we're going to go ahead and open up Beep. Zoago. There we go. Now, as you can kind of see the picture of what Zivago looks like, Zivago is actually a Chinese mythological creature. Zivago means part dragon and part horse. As you can obviously see in the head that is the dragon and the resemblance of the body shape is the horse. Like there would be the mane of the horse I guess. That could be the mane. Well not the mane but uh, the tail of the horse. This is probably more the tail of the horse while that could be somewhat more the mane of the dragon or the bat spice of the dragon. But really, where it was in China, they had never seen a giraffe. So, Zivago is actually a giraffe. Okay? So, now you know what Zivago is. Zivago was a giraffe. Back then in China, they didn't know what a giraffe was. They knew what dragons were, you know, because that was like what they believed in, their legend of the mighty mystical dragons. And they had horses back then, you know, the Shogun era, war times, farming. So, they had horses, so... When they saw it, they saw it as kind of dragon horse. When they first saw a giraffe, because you know it was tall, it had hooves, a tail like a horse, but then it had like these little long pointed face. It kind of had these nubs on its head. You know what a giraffe looks like. So they thought, hmm, what is this ammo? We'll call it Zivago, and we'll say it's part Dray and part horse. Like if a Dray and a horse had a baby, it will be Zivago. So that's how they came up with the name Zivago for a draft. So now that you got that little bit of a history lesson right there, you kind of know what Zivago is now. We'll take it out, the patent. So, like I said, big picture of Zivago. Here's the Facebook of Zivago. Nice picture. Uh, green, it's okay, I guess. Here is its, what are we calling this here? Uh, Warrior Wheel. The Warrior Wheel also has a nice picture of Zivago. It actually has two Zivagos in there. So, right there is the top Zivago, and there's the bottom Zivago. On this wheel, it kind of looks like they incorporate two parts. If you look here at the head of Zivago, the two heads, they look kind of somewhat of a El Drago shape of heads. Somewhat a little misformed, deformed, I guess you could say it. And definitely, this is a noticeable thing, mostly on the energy wings. In Big Wing Metal Fusion, Metal Fight, Metal Fury, I don't remember what we called the last one over here. But I know in Japan it was uh, Beyblade 4D. So yeah. A little hint right there. What those parts. Why? Let's see if I could get. Right there and there. The Pegasus series. That's why right. It's the Pegasus series. So if you look at the Pegasus energy wing. It has the same design. So and as you know. Pegasus and El Drago were the main two characters that was always going at it. 
the Dayblade, Metal Fury, Metal Fight, 4D series. So yeah, I like how they kind of incorporated some of El Drago there and then Pegasus over here. Nice design. Here it's supposed to look like he's holding something like a spear or a sun type of orb. Which actually is supposed to be a sun I guess. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Some of these parts really don't want to come out. So we'll just move this out of the way. The instructions, you know how to put together a bay. I know I agree about it was that right like, now at this moment. Because they're so simple. So here is the little collector card that they give you. On the back is the code to go online to babyboybarrels.com. So if you want, where's the code? Right there on the back is the credit card. So yeah, that's what it is. Now uh, let me put these parts to the side here. Move my laptop in the camera frame. So yeah, here's the website that you want to go to. Uh, Wink.warbayboy.org Okay, and then from there you want to go to where it says uh, Bayboy. Now unfortunately, they do not have the logo on the website at the moment. No one has a little column about it, explaining it, anything about the way, what the parts are. So, unfortunately, the bad thing about this, you won't be able to find on this website. So, yeah, that is one major down part. I probably will write an article soon about it. So, if you didn't already know from this video about, hey, what this Vago is, is a giraffe. They thought it was a dragon horse. So, yeah, I'll have that in there. I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'll probably write an article soon. So yeah, what I do, I'll tell you on you know YouTube that oh hey go to that website, I upload some article of Free Survival. You can check out stats. That'll be cool. But I do know someone here you can uh, go and buy a Bay Passport, which is really cool. I mean, usually you gotta pay money at these tournaments, like between ten and twenty bucks to get into a tournament. And yes, they do have the tournaments over here in America. I know one's up in Canada. Uh, I believe the other one was in Wisconsin. I'm not too sure, but I believe it was in Wisconsin. There is quite a few. And at each tournament, you usually pay about, like I said, 10 to 20 bucks to enter a tournament. If you buy this Bay Passport, it's $10 for this book. Well, it's like a passport size, actually. And it allow you to get into the tournaments for free. Now, all the tournaments, some tournaments, you do get a discount by having that book. You just show them a little book, they say, oh, hey, you have the cool little WBB, the WBO, a World Bayboy Organization passport. Yeah, we'll cut you in at like seven bucks. So, something that's like, 20 bucks, you get down for like 7. Plus you get this really cool collector face boat. Uh, let me see if I can. Right here. Where it says passport. Give it a second here. So yeah. That's one cool thing there. Uh, let's 
Let's see. Yeah. Blair says, uh, you actually help the Bay Boy community and the ten dollar fee for the passport as he goes and helps support tournaments for the prizes and special awards and stuff like that. So like it says, a uh, Bay Boy passport is ten dollars US a year. So every year that you want to get a passport or be in tournaments, you need a passport. Ten bucks. Reasonable price, I believe. Ten dollars, it lasts you a whole year, you can get into most of the tournaments for free. Otherwise, each tournament, like I said, you got paid between 10 to 20 bucks to enter a tournament. Show the passport, free. Except for some special tournaments like championships, or like, um, you know, major league championships, you do get a discount. Uh, free entry to all WBBO events, cool. Entry to passport only events, so it makes you exclusive VIP. Just flash that little passport and you're in. A passport, a passport face for your face question. So yeah, online here, you earn little digital uh, face boats. But then I heard you also get a real face boat. Thing like that. So you get a real physical one and you get a digital one. Really cool. So yeah. Let's uh take this out. Zoom out now. Definitely uh it's worth it. Hopefully soon I'll get my passport and I'll show you. Of course, you know, like my name and address. I'll have to cover that stuff up for uh privacy personal reasons. You know, so no one tries to stalk me on Facebook or you know, online or anything. But I could pretty much try showing you the GIF of it. What the pages are, maybe what my picture would look like. You know how it is. So, okay, uh, stats here. West Doors me a tat, yellow defense, green stamina. For, uh, Zivago, uh, Warrior Wheel, it's got five attack, one defense, and one stamina. Now this little thing is cool. It looks like a fire. And if you don't know, let's see if I can kind of get it in there. Ah, uh, there we kind of go. That is a little element of fire right there in that little circle. So that little gem circle right there. There we go. We can kind of see a bit. Shows a picture of fire. So it represents the, the element of fire. And it's kind of cool that the whole wheel actually looks like a fire. Or... I guess if you want to, a circular saw blade, like, you know, a workshop. Uh, if you took a workshop class in school, you know, what a circular saw blade does. So, yeah, it kind of looks like that, or a big wheel of fire. So, this is called Thief. Uh, attack is free, defense is one, stamina free. Pretty much balance, I guess that one is. Next up is a uh, spin track WA130. Wing attack absorbs hit and strikes opponent. So pretty much, it's gonna you hit me and I counter attack by punching you right back. So as you can tell, let's see if we can kind of get it to spin. It's a little stiff here. So yeah, this I don't, really don't know if it's gonna spin. Because it seems really stiff. But that's kind of the idea how it's supposed to work. Almost like a wilder bit. Again, another woodshop reference. If you took a woodshop, you kind of know where a wilder bit is and a wilder table. Kind of reminds me something of that design. As you can tell, it doesn't really spin fast. It's really stiff. But there we go. You kind of have to spin with your finger first to kind of loosen it up. So... Little tip when you get it, don't just sound your bay real fast. Kind of push it to loosen up. Otherwise, it's only going to go like this and this, and then your bay is going to lose. So, now look how fast it's going. So, yeah, that hopefully now it's a little tip that you learn. Don't assemble it. Otherwise, it's going to go like this. Just do that, and then it's going to go 
and wart. Okay, uh, where is it? Nets up? Oh yeah, that had uh, two uh, defense. Nets up is performance chip. HF, hole flat. As you can kind of see, there's a little hole in there. I don't know if you can see it too good from this side. Yeah, a little bit. That side. And it says, hole flat tip for a steady attack. Attack is four and stamina three. So, yeah. So, what do we get? We'll move that one to the side. We get light launcher one and assembling tool. Now, in the Beyblade Zero G series from Takari Tomi, you get this. It is the Zero G compact launcher. And you get this, which is the Whipcord from the Light Launcher 2 series or the Beyblade 4D series. Really cool ideal. We'll just take that out for the moment. So how you put this together, uh, let's just line this up. So right now it's in chrome up mode. You can kind of see it kind of protruding out there a little bit to kind of create a little sun design. There's a rounded one, there's a flat one. So that's chrome up mode. Turn it this way and it becomes crystal up mode. It was a shame this ideal never appeared in both the Beyblade Shogun Steel in American series or Beyblade Zero G in Japan. So we never got a chance to see the crystal up mode in either show. All we saw was in chrome up mode or synchro mode. Yeah, that was a real shame. I mean, the idea is good. It's kind of like some of a uh, Beyblade 4D series. But since they don't made it in that way, big letdown. At least for me as a Bay fan, I would love to see it as that. So you just kind of line this up with that. This could be kind of twitchy at first, so for this I say just kind of go like this. There we go. So you might actually want to put that piece on, this one on first. Then put that chrome wheel on. So you know, usually you got to take your tool and somewhere like that. What this one did for the compact launcher, your t the sewing tool is built right in there. So of course, this part on top goes right there, tightening up that face bolt. And this one has kind of got the hole in there that's facing out that way. What does that do? That allows you to attach your performance tip. Move that out of the way. So, let's head out the base stadium. Uh, tell my phone here. So, we're going to time this. We're going to go with the American countdown first. Ready? Three, two, one, let it rip! So, American light launcher one that came with the bay. So do know, since it is a tag type, it's going to lose a lot of power real fast. As you can tell, it's almost dying out.
total time 1 minutes 11.76 second so yeah as you can tell about a minute and 11 seconds let's go with the Takari Tomi Japanese Com Bayboy Zero G light launcher or compact light launcher this time we're going to count down the Japanese countdown ready three two one go shoot ow 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 that bay actually came back and hit me in my knuckles right there on my fingers so uh we're going to have to count down again ready three two one go shoot Takari Tomi, Bayboy Zero G, Compact Launcher. As you can tell, it has a lot more power. The base stadium is locked in a lot more. Ow, that bay really did a number on me. I mean, wow. I don't know if you noticed this, but right there, it really blew my finger. Almost caught it, too. So, I uh, definitely do be aware. A fifth Zawago. You know, I'm trying to find what it was called for the other bay in uh Metal Fight for series. The other draft one. Total time, 1 minutes, 8.14 seconds. So, yeah, 1 minute, 8 seconds it lasts. So, here's kind of everything that you get. Uh, we have Chief Zawago. The bots, the bay, the whipcord launcher card, and assembling tool. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching this Beyblade unboxing review video. Check out their website uh do do dot forward slash forward slash I mean hit type forward slash forward slash wink dot war baby dot org. That's in the website. Alright. Remember to wait subscribe and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.